Hello my loves. Right, this video is for you gel polish users out there who want to do a bauble nail that's super super simple. So um, it, I'm using Never Too Late from Madame Glam and Glitter Planet's Fairy Dust, Clear Hollow which is a fine glitter and Metallic Silver which is a multi-cut and these stars which I had to rebag and I can't remember what they're called. I think they're like laser stars or something like that. Um, and my flexi hand of course. Um, so for those of you who haven't already twigged, I, I won't be doing the Christmas festive nail art complete series course thing because I just couldn't get it all done on time. So um, this would have been one of the videos and I thought, well, you guys can have it because I got this one done. So yeah, why not? So I'm applying base coat, gonna whack it in my lamp 30 seconds. Then I am going to have a coat of Never Too Late. And then that will be cured for 30 seconds. Now, as you'll see, I use a detailer brush from my cuticle area. Makes it nice and easy. Um, just gets it up there, like, easy. So easy. Especially if you're using like a flexi hand, because I find that they have really deep cuticle areas and side walls. So I find that I anchor my pinky down. Um, so it gives me a nice firm surface to lean lean on I just had it like a hiccup oh that was weird a sudden hiccup attack so just tucking that up it's really important when you're doing gel polish to have your cuticle area neat because if you don't it can ruin your entire set so you could have spent ages getting your base prepared, getting your nail nice and even if you've done it over acrylic or whatever. But if you don't stop and pay attention to that cuticle area, trust me, it will look terrible on photographs and it just won't show well. So once that's cured for 30 seconds, I'm going in with the second layer. Apply that and cure that for, oh no, before I cure that layer, Hang on a minute, honey. I'm going to take Glitter Planet's Fairy Dust. I bought this recently and I'm obsessed with it. I swear everyone's going to have it. It's really powdery. It's perfect for this kind of thing. See, it's like super powdery. And I'm going to just place my little tray underneath and sprinkle this. I don't need loads. Just sprinkle it on the nail, just a dusting. Some of it is soaked in, some of it sits on top, doesn't matter. Straight in the lamp and cure that for 60 seconds because you've applied something to your gel polish. So just to make sure it cures, whack it in there for 60 seconds. This is what we're left with. Doesn't look very nice at the moment. Trust me, it will look beautiful. I'm going in with Madame Glam Top Coat. I'm going to apply a generous layer. And because I apply a generous layer of top coat, I will cure it for 60 and not 30 seconds. Standard layer of top coat, 30 seconds, but I'm literally using a slip layer and then going in with more top coat because otherwise I'll have a lumpy bumpy textured nail and I don't want that. So I'm working it like I would a builder gel almost. Just down the centre there to cover those areas. Whack it in the lap. Oh yeah, I'm tipping it upside down quickly so it pulls forward. Now I've got this, I was sent ages ago. I don't use the crystals because they're not Swarovski. But I will use this for my ball ball. I'm just tidying up those sides there. But we're going to cap the nail again anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just neatening it up because we've applied a lot of product. Okay, now I'm going to buff the entire nail surface because we are going to do some art on this nail. Very simple, quick, basic nail art. Perfect for salon wear, perfect for gel users. So you can do this on yourself. It's just so easy. Get your little duvery. Don't know what it's called. Embellishment. Pop it on wherever you want it and then glue it. So leave it there where you want it, providing you can do it that way. Obviously, if you're on a person, their nails more curved, you might not be able to do that. But I just put a little blob of glue top bottom side and side and then I used a micro swab stick to go in and spread that glue around and then I waited for it to dry that is really important if you do anything with wet glue it will ruin whatever you do so let that glue spread 
let it dry fully before you do the next step. Otherwise, it will be ruined. Okay, so that's fully dry. I'm now taking my base coat, putting a blob in there and using my dotting tool to move it about inside that frame that we've placed. Not too thick with this base coat because we're going to do multiple layers and give it a 3D bauble effect. Then I'm sprinkling clear hollow into that before it's cured. Once I've sprinkled enough, it's going to go in my lamp for 30 seconds. This is going to have multiple cures. And the reason I'm using base coat is because we're doing layers and I want it to stick. So once that's cured, we're going in with the next layer. Little blob in the middle, get my dotting tool, makes it easier to even it out. So just gently even it out, it's so easy guys. I wanna see you recreate this. I wanna be tagged. And then I'm gonna pop little pieces of the silver, metallic silver in there. It just gives so much dimension rather than just using one glitter. I I, using different things gives it so much dimension. Really beautiful. You can use whatever you want. You could use different colours, different cuts. This is just what I fancied on the day. I'm using the small pieces because it's quite a small surface. But you could put chunkies in there and all sorts. More iridescent glitters. Whatever you fancy. And then once you've done that, whack it back in the lamp. Whack it back in the lamp, honey. And we'll repeat the same process, but with a different glitter this time. I'm a bit mad today, it's my birthday. Woohoo! I got a Nikon camera from Mr B. He's seriously earned some brownie points with extra lenses and everything. <gasps> Guys, haven't used it yet, I'm too scared. Right, that's cured. Next layer of base coat. Again, doesn't need to be super thick. We're just making sure it covers all those little bits. And we're coming in with two glitters this time. So we're going to use one of these beautiful stars. And we're going to sprinkle some holographic around it. Some of the clear hollow because it's nice and fine cut. So it's not too in your face, but it gives that beautiful glisten. And then I'm just going to make sure because the star moved a little bit. That will happen because you're using a thin base coat. Whack it in the lamp and then put some top coat on it and just make sure that you wiggle that top coat around and cover it all beautifully. And then I did a 60 second cure on this because it's had lots of layers and it's got quite a thick top layer. Whack it in the lamp. Right, in with some white gel polish. Line up your central dot and then just go either side with your dotting tool, they will go down in size. It will look automatically perfect like you're a wonderful, amazing person. Just so easy, done, cure it line down to your bauble then i just got the other end of my dotting tool to do a tiny one cure that before it moves then i'm just drawing on a little bow on each side and i decided to fill them in because the left one i'm not very good at drawing on the left hand side of a nail this is something i've discovered i can do it on the right hand side of the nail but i find it hard to do it on the left hand side never mind cure that now we're in for top coat do not top coat your bauble, it's already been done. Top coat around it. So take your time, nice and neat, then whack it in the lamp, honey, and you are done. It's super affordable for you product-wise and your client, and it won't take up much more time. You could do this in between doing a plain design on the other hands, on the other fingers, and here you go. Thank you very much, Mrs. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely stunning. Very, very simple. Very affordable. I hope you like it. I will see you in my next video. Tally bye. <laughs>